All right, so these are the Infinis Hot 40 series. You have the Infinis Hot 40i, the Infinis Hot 40, and the Infinis Hot 40 Pro. The best is the Infinis Hot 40 Pro. It's also the most expensive one. We'll talk more about this, the, the Hot 40 Pro in this video. But before then, let me show you guys the pricing of this smartphone in various countries and the date of availability. So the Infinix of 40i is the cheapest. You can get it as low as 180 US dollar. And uh, the Infinix of 40 Pro is the uh, most expensive, a little below 200 US dollar. So if you are from Nigeria, if you are from any Francophone country like Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, and Mali, you see the prices too on the screen. So let me know what you think in the comment section about the pricing of this smartphone. Do you think they are overly priced or they are decently priced? One thing is that inflation, things are expensive. The components of making smartphones or any tech gadgets these days are very expensive. But despite that, I'm impressed that Infinix were able to keep all these smartphones below 200 US dollar, which is reasonable in my opinion. So the most sophisticated version is the Infinix Hot 40 Pro and they all have dot in display. They all have dot in display. But you notice the differences from the internal features and also from the rear cameras. So let's begin with the Infinix Hot 40 Pro. So it comes with 6.78 IPS LCD dot in display with full AG plus resolution. Now you have 120 Hz refresh rate, which is way smoother than the 90 Hz you have on the Infinix Hot 40 and Infinix Hot 40i. Aside from the display, the 120 Hz refresh rate setting them apart, another thing that makes the Infinix Hot 40 Pro the most sophisticated one in the series is the performance. So here you have the MediaTek Elogenes 9 chipset performance. It's still a 4G chipset like every other one in the series. But the Helio G99 chipset performs better when it comes to gaming and when it comes to multitasking and other things because it is paired with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now, the 16 gigs of RAM, you have 8 gigabytes of hardware RAM and 8 gigs of software RAM, that is virtual RAM. So, but the Helio G99 chipset performs better than the Helio G88 on the Infinix Hot 40 and the entry level chipset on the Infinix Hot 40i. And another thing is the camera. Now, if you look at this device from the uh, display the screen side they all have dot in display so you can hardly tell the differences between them from the fronts but on the rear that is where the differences become well pronounced so the others in the series have two cameras dual cameras and they are 50 megapixel but on the Infinix of 40 Pro the camera has step up to 108 megapixel so it's the best camera in a smartphone in the series and the other two cameras are 2 megapixel macro and AI lens. The smartphone will be available in three colors. You have it in blue, gold, green, and black. And the storage is up to 256 gigabytes of storage. The battery capacity is still 5000 mAh with a 3 watt fast charge. So three good things set the Infinix Hot 40 Pro apart. And that's the reason it is more expensive. So the first thing is the performance. It has better performance. MediaTek and your G99 chipset, and then you also have uh, uh, 120 as a fresh rate, so you have a smoother screen, and then you have the uh, 108 megapixel rear camera. So the camera, the performance, and the screen, the display that is smoother, set it apart from others in the lineup. After the Infinix 40, the Vanilla Hot 40, or Normal Hot 40, you have MediaTek and your G88 chipset, 90 as a fresh rate. Why the Hot 40i comes with a uh, Unisoc T606 chipset. It's still a 4 chipset, but it performs uh, lower compared to the others in the lineup. So, what do you think about the pricing? The Infinix Hot 40 Pro is priced below 200 US dollar. In Naira, I think that should be at roughly around 185 to 200,000 Naira in between there. And I will, I will make a review of these smartphones, but what I look forward to the most is comparing the Infinix Hot 40 Pro to the Techno Spark 20 Pro series, 20 Pro or 20 Pro Plus. So not to miss out on those comparisons, remember to subscribe and turn the post bell. And uh, as for the availability dates, the Infinix Hot 40 series will be available uh, in um, January in, uh, in uh, India. Why? For those who are in Africa, if you are in Nigeria or Western Africa countries or the Eastern Africa countries, you get the Infinix of 40 series before the end 
of December. I think from next week, you can start buying it in Nigeria. All right, so let me know what you think in the comment section about the Infinix of 40 series. How impressed are you about these devices? Thanks for watching. This is my GA, and I'll see you guys around in my next one.